Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing through the next part of the final chapter of Life is Strange 2. It's very intense and I cannot wait to see how it ends. So take a second before we begin to hit the like button as I give a ginormous shout out, the biggest of shout outs to our patron of the day, Austin. Austin, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. SRG is getting better and better every day and it's thanks to patrons like you. It's also been amazing getting to know you in the Discord. You are such a fun spirit and I love seeing everything that you contribute. Um, thank you so, so much for your contribution. And now, let's get on to the gameplay video. Enjoy. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> How Catch did later, he get here? Okay, time out. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. I can't. No problem. Th I can't pay attention to anything else right now. They literally did a crossover. They proved it's in the same world. I mean, they already did that she with Arcadia so cool. Bay. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. First of all, Stanley's so cool. Why isn't the Daniel carrying is so cool. all the groceries? You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. I'm sorry, I, I can't. David Madsen from Life of Strange One is in this game. I cannot get over that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so how did he go from being like ultra military, I'm gonna teach this teenager discipline? And listen, in my Life of Strange One playthrough, I was not a fan of David. I was not nice to him, I didn't give him anything because I didn't feel like he ever made an effort for me. So what Chloe? So why should I ever make the effort for him? I I was not nice to David. And I didn't feel the need to be. I didn't I don't like his style. I don't like the I'm going to overcompensate with toughness when I clearly need a sensitive touch here. That is one thing that like really strikes me in the heart. I didn't enjoy it. I just felt like he was so power hungry and so like authority hungry and so desperate to prove himself and like his ego was so big. That was just my personal opinion of David in my playthrough. I know a lot of other people don't feel that way and the way that I felt about him was honestly one of the most dis decisive things about my Life is Strange 1 playthrough. Everybody was like, wow, you were way too hard on that guy. But I, I'm telling you, I cannot believe he ends up here, here, in this hippie commune. How does David Madsen end up in this hippie commune? Okay, so we remember in episode two, they look out at the destruction of Arcadia Bay. The town was destroyed, but we know that not everyone died in the Bay Tornado hurricane accident because David Madsen obviously is alive, but did everyone else make it? And what does he mean we made our peace? Because in half the playthroughs, Chloe doesn't make it. But in my playthrough, I chose Chloe over Bay. I don't know, man. This is weird. This is weird and I don't like it. It's so weird. And what happened to Joyce? I don't know. It's weird. It's 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 like I feel like I don't know, someone just told me the color red is actually blue. Like <laughs> That's how I feel. It feels very weird. Okay. Anyways, the groceries, right.
What's happening? Why did why are you doing this? Why are you left turning, Sean? Is my A key stuck down? <sighs> Hope my crops will make it. That was a new weird. statue? <sighs> that woman is amazing. All right, so we put the groceries down. I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather sometimes. Yeah, I bet. You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? Everybody's very cool and way different. He just can't even believe made fun of Daniel for saying Daniel's everybody's power. cool. Well, Sean, and then he said that. Still I made him say that. My head around it. But people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past too. That's why people come here from all over the country, for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So, how did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. <sighs> well... Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all talk? Is mm, It doesn't seem like everything's okay. okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Mm. Just the three of us. Mm, you sound sad, Karen. Those are sad, those are sad tones. Big brother to Superwolf? We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> is she leaving or is she gonna kick him out? Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Mighty suspicious. Makes me nervous. I still don't entirely trust Karen. We should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. They spent the whole I'm day so hiking? Sorry. Wow. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. This looks Slow like the more. same path that we took. Fast. More walk, less talk. <laughs> then you'll pass me up. Guys, check this out. This is the now same this path. Is nature's we were just here this morning, but okay. It's so big and pretty. And so quiet, except for the birds of prey. Shh. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a 
wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but it's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. What if Karen just Mufasa's us? And it's just like, goodbye. Just shoves us off a cliff. It's like, I really didn't want to be a mom. What would we do? I'm going to be like, life is strange. I'm just like terrified. I don't know what she's, she's being weird right now. I don't know, you better keep your flashlight on, Sean. She seems like she's about to deliver some bad news. I'd love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey, I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. It was good to get to know you better. See your life. This place is pretty cool. It's like Fairy Road, but nicer. I got to learn about living in a desert, hiking canyons, counting stars. <laughs> You're a natural-born explorer. It's hard to believe you two are actually out here with me. I was lucky we had this chance. Just know I love both of you so much. And I'm proud of who you are. And... where you're going. Uh, I'm gonna say it even though I don't really want her to come with us. Mm, I don't really want her to come with us. Karen. Be honest. Do you think we'll make it to Mexico? <laughs> you made it this far. Going through hell. I hope so, Sean. Hmm. You both deserve it. Excellent non-answer. Thanks, but Karen. I have to be upfront with both of you. Bring it what on. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well. Figures. Yeah, that's not great news. This couldn't last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. <gasps> Are they lanterns? Paper lanterns? Oh, this is gonna be so cool, I'm excited. Whoa, awesome. Cool. Let's light up the sky. Oh 
Oh yeah. I guess floating lanterns are a little less magical for him. But he's still finding a way to put his own magic to it, which is cute. This is a nice moment. See, this is what I wanted, is for them to just have some nice moments. A fitting farewell, probably. But now what? What does Karen intend? You know, the feds are tracking her down too. So if she, is she going to leave away to take trouble away from away? Or is she just kicking Sean and Daniel out and hoping that that is going to be the end of the trouble? Oh, police seek family after Haven Point something. I didn't quite see it. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think I'm kind of scared. Oh, honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start from the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me, too, for what happened in Nevada. Why does so she call it Nevada, too? You. Fair trade. Mom, they'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. Oh, for you once in your life, your Karen, it's not about you? Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. I don't know. Dad didn't raise us this way. He was a rebel, but he wasn't a criminal. He didn't teach us to say, fuck it. Esteban had a lot more faith in the system than me. I had to do shit my own way. Look, I only want you and Daniel to get what you deserve. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right, I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. What does that mean, uh, Karen? You should go see David. He has something for you. David has okay. something for me. Right. I don't like it. I don't like him. 
I don't trust him. I don't trust this new David. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. Took me some time, but I think I get why you are who you are. <sighs> Maybe we're not that different. I'm sorry for getting you into trouble. You've done your best for us and don't deserve what's coming. We'll make up for it one day. Once the dust has settled. Take care. And talk soon. Sean. Well, that's what we wrote. <laughs> We could rewrite it, but I'm okay with it, ultimately. Looks good. Oh, great. Our actions will have consequences. My favorite symbol. I love it. That's great. Still can't believe she's kept it. All right. Well, is there anything useful we can, like extra sleeping bags or, oh yeah. So deal with this USB key again. I guess she nothing. Goes see what David wants now. Now we gotta go talk to David. I have to get one of these for Puerto Lobos. A deck of cards. Daniel's a total addict now. Yeah, I think you'll be able to manage that. All right, David. Let's see what you have to say. This place has too many adults. But I'm gonna miss it. I'm also curious if there's like anything else I should be looking at or into. I mean, knowing that this is David and seeing what I'm seeing, I mean, it still doesn't really make any sense. There's like pyramids and like an island and like, yeah, it's two girls, but like one of them doesn't have blue hair, ah, dolphins and giraffes. Ah, it's weird. It's weird. Now, do we want to talk to... Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. These guys before we go? Yeah. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? We are. Everything okay? Yeah. No. Just time to go. Don't tell oh, anyone shit. we were here. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. So do we. Yeah, but it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. No, you Not can't. Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and I hope it'll will be your last U.S. memory. And a home. <laughs> okay, I'm done babbling. I just take goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Have uh, we? Or else. We're gonna make it work. <sighs> Shit. 
I'm gonna miss you guys. Take Aww, care. You hear? Hugs. Watch out for Daniel. I miss hugs. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Oh. I'm glad we did that. Now I feel like I have to say goodbye to Joan. Damn. Joanne. Wrap my head around those two leaving. Mm, I don't know. Come on. Hey. Are we gonna get one last look at our What's ugly sculpture? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. We are. So, what do you think? Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good. Even though we that did it. makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel, you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Oh, I'm a wolf. Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Life is strange. Always Thank makes you. you cry like a baby. Join for everything. Just please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey. Is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. <laughs> Don't be a stranger. Hang out, Daniel, Sean. It's nice knowing you. Get out of here. Oh, I saw all three of their names carved on it. That's I'll nice. I miss you so much, Joanne. Oh, I know, sweetie. I miss you too. All right, to David's. We've delayed it as long as we can. I don't want to see what's inside his trailer. I'm still angry with him. I haven't forgiven him. Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. Well, that's helpful. I'll join you when I'm done. New plates on our car so as to not arouse suspicion. But where did those plates come from, you wonder? Wonder where David got this police scanner. I also wonder where David got this police scanner. Not. Oh, man, I'm nervous. As if money could make up for everything he's lost. Dear Mr. Madsen, enclosed is your most recent deposit statement from the city of Arcadia Bay as per your negotiated settlement for damages. Please ensure the amount is accurate and that your bank has processed the latest deposit. He sued for damages. Wow. Must be his wife. Time's taking a serious toll on him since this. Poor guy. You don't even know how terrible he was, Sean. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. People are gonna be so mad at how much I dislike David. A lot of people really identified with Tave, with David. And I think that's why a lot of people were mad that I I disliked him so much. And I get it. But I'm entitled to my opinion too. He was pretty awful to Chloe. He was awful to everybody. You don't just get, that was always my thing is just because he's had a hard life and 
just because, you know, blah, 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 like you don't get to then turn around and be a terrible person and, and be mean to everyone around you. That was always my thing. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. <laughs> they look cool. I wonder which one is his daughter. They grew up. I can't. Oh. They grew up. Max would wear a moon shirt. Chloe got her tattoo. This is a trip, man. This is a real trip. Cool portraits. <laughs> Didn't think David had a taste for the arts. So these are Max's Polaroids. So obviously Max visited David and took pictures of Karen and David and Joan and Arthur and Steven and their hot dog man mug. Love. Yep. David is ready for that apocalypse. Good old beans. Or whatever. Oh, man. This is kind of a nice bath for an RV trailer thing. Terrible toilet, though. Why do you have a... What is that? Why does that... What is that? I don't know instruments, but is that like a mandolin? What? Is that a banjo? I, I don't know instruments. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird to have it next to the toilet. Yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. What kind of music is that? Yeah, me oh, banjo David music. Won't be sharing any okay. playlist. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh my gosh! I hate people who have pictures like this. This is see. This is what I dislike about David. He has to dominate things. I hate it. I'm sorry. I d dislike. Dislike hunting photos. That must have been the best meal ever. Aww. To frame it on the wall. He framed it on the wall because that's where Joyce used to work. Sad. He did love Joyce. You can't deny that. He did love Joyce. Oh. This box is labeled AB. Is that for Arcadia Bay? Damn. I see why David ended up out here. Okay. He still was a hero. Dear Mr. Madsen, Sorry this is so late, but I put the wrong P.O. Box address on the envelope and the letter was returned. Hope this one finds you. I'm glad you left Arcadia Bay, or what's left of it. I'm now going to therapy, which helps, but I still get nightmares. I hope that Max and Chloe are keeping you company. They're a good team. I'm still in Seattle looking over my parents' gallery. Their partner, Jessica, is great. She's taking care of everything. This will is a mess, but I will be okay. Okay, so Victoria's parents died in the hurricane. It's hard to get over the fact that, in a way, I owe my life to Mark Jefferson throwing me in his fucking bunker. I get flashes of his creep face all the time, but then I see yours coming to rescue me. I'll probably be thanking you for the rest of my life for that. Please keep in touch, at least at this address for a while, and let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Thanks again for your service. Best wishes, Victoria Chase. So Victoria survived as well because her and David were in the bunker, it seems like.
It's so, you know, you finish the game, life is strange. And if you're like anyone, you have to deal with the repercussions of your choices in your life for the next month. And then every time anybody talks about it, you have to deal with the choice that you made. And then they make this game and they bring it all back up again. I had healed. I had healed. Gosh. Terrible. All right, well, I think that's everything in the house or in the trailer. Okay. 40-160 to listen to the police frequency. Uh, okay. I only got to search between 140 and 160. Oh, 140 and 160. Doesn't sound like cops. That's all I'm saying, folks. But back to work. Mm. Doesn't sound like cops. Here you go. Another hit from the backwoods on dusty rocks. Mm. Doesn't sound like cops. It's so quiet, I can't really hear what they're saying. There we go. We've got reports of a ten ten Wait, down by is this it? Uh, Sam's? Oh, now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Okay, this version of David can be a rebel. I'll allow him into the Strange Rebels Club. He really fits the description of being a rebel in a very strange way. He is a strange rebel. But we'll take him. Not Life is Strange 1 David. He's not invited. But Life is Strange 2 David is allowed to change, is allowed to redeem himself, and he's invited. Everyone is allowed to change. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <laughs> yep. And I found the She's police. She's got frequency. a ponytail. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This Can you believe is the fastest route. David Madsen has there, a ponytail? Between I can't get over it. These two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But oh, he's got Karen's an in-memory tattoo okay. on his chest. You got all that? <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just... Honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane, 
Oh, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Oh, that's official Jeez. confirmation then. Okay. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on. Like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them. And we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way. And I don't want to fuck things up this time. Sean, I'm going to do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed, but you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. What are they setting you up and here? You can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free. That's not how it works, David. Sooner than later. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're, You're you don't understand, David. See, this is the thing. All this. He acts like he knows everything. Daniel, Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, sweetie. What's up? And that is where we're going to be ending today's episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. Oh my goodness, this game. Huh, I know I say that every time, but I like I don't know even know what else to say. Anyways, please remember to leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite part was. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know how you feel about some of the concepts that are in this game, but remember, be nice. And please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. Of course, please remember to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming, this little channel right here, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. It's important. All right, that's all. I love you all. Bye!